Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about waveguide discontinuities. What do you mean by discontinuity? Discontinuity is nothing but stopping at some point. That means the wave cannot uh, travel beyond that point. Okay, that is the wave discontinuities. What is the meaning of and what is the use of waveguide discontinuities in the concept of waveguides? Suppose consider a waveguide. Consider a waveguide which is having three ports. Okay, I will explain what are the different types of waveguides that are having three ports, four ports and a number of ports in the coming classes. Let us see a waveguide that is having three ports like this. Okay, this is the input port and these two are the output ports. This is output one and this is output two. That means whatever the power I am going to couple here, input here, that power can be transferred in this output 1 and as well as this output 2. Whenever you want to use only one between these two, suppose I want to use only output 2 for one, exp uh, one um, application, I want to use only output 2. I don't want to go for this output 1. I want to close this output 1. What I have to do? I want to close this output 1 with a particular waveguide that is used to permanently close this output 1 port so that the power only transfers in this direction. It will not go in this direction. In such cases, definitely we should use a terminators or waveguide discontinuities. This is the concept where the waveguide discontinuities came into existence, waveguide discontinuities. Hope you understand now. What do you mean by waveguide discontinuity and why we are going for the concept of waveguide discontinuities in the waveguides. Okay. Likewise, we will be having multiple port uh, devices with us. So, whenever, whichever is used, that particular port is going to be used and remaining ports are going to be terminated using this one. Okay, suppose if I don't close this one, I am using only the output 2, then power will be wasted. One loss is wastage of power. If you don't close that, if you don't close that output 1 port, the power will be wasted. That may be either E component or H component, whichever is able to transfer that particular um, electric or magnetic field can be wasted. Okay, power is wasted, power wastage is there. If you don't close that. Suppose if I am closing with a regular or any type of other source without uh, using a perfect device. If I close it with any other device then mismatch will be there. Mismatch will be there. The power cannot be coupled with any type of device. It can be coupled with perfectly matched device so that the power cannot be reflected back. Suppose if power reflected back what is the use of closing that? Okay, suppose if I am closing with any mismatch device, the power will be reflected back and again superimposed with the transmitted signal and the, there it forms a standing wave. That also gives a wrong information at the output. Okay, so you should not waste the power and you should not, uh, it should not cause any mismatch in the transmission line. Okay, so uh, to avoid all these, we need a perfect matching devices or perfect waveguide discontinuities. There the discontinuities concept came into existence. Okay, so the power will be reflected back. <coughs> the power will be reflected back because of mismatch in waveguides in waveguides so to overcome this We use waveguide guide 
discontinuities okay we cannot leave that port open like that and as well as we cannot connect any other unknown device to close there or to terminate that port okay if we close that what happens mismatch occurs because of that mismatch so per, uh, what is that power will be reflected back and uh, signal will be superimposed with the transmission signal okay it should not occur so to overcome this what we are doing we are using waveguide discontinuities so waveguide discontinuities what they will fall what they will create is they will they are creating some lumped parameters like a combination of resistance and capacitance or resistance and inductance or any capacitance and inductive component that is going to be created by that waveguide discontinuity so waveguide discontinuities provide lumped parameters lumped parameters what is the advantage of these lumped parameters they will absorb the power they will absorb the power electromagnetic power there are three types of waveguide discontinuities discontinuities available there are three different types of waveguide discontinuities available that means three methods are there to terminate the power at the end of the waveguide okay so first one is waveguide irises second posts and tuning screws <coughs> posts and tuning screws match termination matched termination the name clearly says that it is matched to the waveguide that's it is match termination okay if we use mismatch terminations mismatch devices it creates an, a reflected signal back okay see here all these three types are used to terminate the signal the signal which enters into this waveguide iris or post and tuning screws or match termination the signal will be nullified there itself nullified there itself means suppose i am drawing the same waveguide here I am giving the input from this side. I am using a termination like 1, 2, 3, whatever I have stated here, whether waveguide iris or post and tuning screws or match termination, whatever the component I am using among these three, that particular device will absorb this entire power. Okay, the power which goes on to this that will be absorbed by this one only. Okay, it will not reflect back. Hope you understand now. So, the three methods what we are discussing, what you are going to discuss here, waveguide iris or post and tuning screws or match termination, they are used to absorb the entire power inside into them. They, the power will not come back. Okay. So, now let us see one by one. What do you mean by waveguide iris, post and tuning screws, match termination and how the power is going to be absorbed by them. The power is absorbed by them by using lumped parameters. But the power can be absorbed by them in the form of lumped parameters that may be either capacitance, inductance or resistance. So the first one is waveguide irises. Waveguide irises is nothing but it is a window like structure that is formed either sides of the waveguide or top of the waveguide or bottom of the waveguide or entire uh, surrounded by the waveguide okay it is a window like structure see here it is a window like structure that is formed on the either sides of the waveguide see see this is the rectangular waveguide we have taken this rectangular waveguide is having a window shape here 
on one end here on the other end or the same window iris material that can be formed on only one end of the waveguide that may be this end or other end left end or right end or the same iris material can be created on the top of the waveguide or bottom of the waveguide it can be created iris material can be placed on the top of the waveguide or at the bottom of the waveguide or it can be created formed on both sides top and as well as bottom of the waveguide or it can be enclosed completely like this entire waveguide both the top bottom left and right or it can be created in this way also the same this this one this one both are different but it is having a gap between the waveguide and it can be formed in this way also so that only a small particular uh, hole is there that is used to couple the power that is used to transfer the power okay so waveguide irises is nothing but a iris material is there that is going to be inserted on either walls any place of the walls so whenever the wave that touches this particular iris material simply it absorbs the entire power how it is absorbing see here in the first case when a wave when a iris material that is placed on the left or right side or both it simply acts like a inductive component so what i told you waveguide discontinuity is create lumped parameters create lumped parameters so here it creates a inductive component in the second case when the iris material is placed on the top and bottom or any of the places it simply creates like a capacitor a capacitor network is going to be created there suppose if it is enclosed like this completely the iris material is completely enclosed in the entire walls of the waveguide then it creates a parallel combination of resistance uh, parallel combination of inductance and capacitance if it is like this it is like a series connection of inductance and capacitance if it is like this again some inductive component okay so whatever may be the shape that creates some lumped parameter that is used to absorb the entire power <coughs> so iris says is nothing but a window like structure formed by a diaphragm formed by a diaphragm see the irises is nothing but a diaphragm what do you mean by diaphragm diaphragm is nothing but it is in the black color where we are using in the speakers okay in speakers or woofers if you see a black sheet is there which is used to swing to and fro that is nothing but diaphragm okay that is used here in the form of irises to absorb the power they are placed on top and bottom or on side walls as we have seen here they control the strong electric and magnetic fields okay that means they can control or they can absorb the strong electric and magnetic fields so this is the waveguide iris and post and screw uh, tuning screws and match termination i will discuss in the next video thank you